Hi, good day everyone. This video is about a quick review of the rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions in algebra expression. So number one, I have here the rules for addition and subtraction with four steps. Number one is to find the least common denominator or the LCD of both fractions. Number two, we need to rewrite the fraction as equivalent fractions with the same LCD. Number three, the LCD is the denominator of the resulting fraction. And last, we have the sum or difference of the numerator is the numerator of the resulting fraction. Let's try to solve this given problem, okay? And let's try to apply the given steps or rules. So let's say we have this problem. We're asked to find the sum of 1 third and 2 over 5. So same procedure. So number one, we need to identify the least common denominator of both fractions. So what would be the value for LCD? So since we have 1 over 3, plus 2 over 5. To identify their LCD, the technique here is to uh, observe their denominators. So for this case, we have 3 and 5 as our denominator, and we need to think of a value wherein um, we can divide 3 and 5 to that LCD. Okay, so we have this technique. So our technique here is to just to multiply the given denominators, okay? Or just um, give a value. So we have 3 and 5, that means the LCD for, for this given um, problem, we have 15. So obviously 3 times 5 is 15. So we have this LCD. Right, so number 2, we need to rewrite the fraction as equivalent fractions with the same LCD. So let's transform this given problem. Since we have this LCD as 15, so it will give us 15. And let's rewrite the fraction. So just divide this LCD to our first denominator. So it will give us 15 divided by 3, that is 5. And multiply that value to our numerator, or to its numerator. So we have 5 times 1, so the answer is 5. So plus, divide again, do the same thing to the second fraction. So we have 15 divided by 5, that is 3. And multiply 3 to our numerator, which is 2. So 3 times 2, that is equals to 6. So we have 5 plus 6. And let's simplify this. So 5 plus 6, that is 11 over 15. And this is the answer for this given problem. So as you observe, the LCD of our given problem will serve as our denominator, which is 15. And for step number 4, the sum or difference of the numerator is the numerator of the resulting fraction. So we add this 5 and 6, and we have 11. So the answer for this given problem, we have 11 over 15. Okay, so let's try to solve another problem. Let's um, try to solve this. Let's say we are, uh, we are asked to add this. Let's say we have 1 over x minus 3 plus 2 over x minus 5. Right, so um, for this given problem, we are asked to um, add rational expression, okay? So we add variables to our denominator, so same procedure, okay? So number one is just identify the least common denominator. So I think for this given problem, um, let's use both of our denominator. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 5, and let's multiply this given denominators. That means for our LCD, so we have the product of x minus 3 and x minus 5. So it's up to you if you want to simplify this, okay? So if you want to simplify this, this one is actually equals to um, just apply Pearl method. So it will give you x times x, which is x squared. Next is x times negative 5, that is minus 5x. Next one, we have negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x. And last, we have negative 3 times negative 5, which is positive 15. And simplify. That means for this given um, binomials, we have x squared. Combine like terms, we have negative 5x and negative 3x. That is actually equals to negative 8x. I will rewrite this one. So this is actually equals to x squared minus 8x. And copy the remaining term as positive 15. Okay, so we have this given problem or expression um, as our LCD. 
Okay, so just rewrite this um the fraction as equivalent fractions with the same LCD. That means we need to um simplify our given problem with this, this LCD. So I will um use the first value. So it will give us um we have one over three. I'm sorry, so that is one over x minus three plus two over x minus five. Okay? And I will um use the factor first, okay? The factor is x minus 3 and x minus 5. So again, you're allowed to use this one. So it's up to you, okay? So let's use this one. So again, let's multiply our given LCD to our first um, fraction or divide this to our first denominator, right? So we have um, this LCD divided by our first denominator. So just cancel out this one. Here's our technique and multiply the result to its numerator. Therefore, it will give us 1 times x minus 5. Alright? Next, let's proceed to our next set of fraction. So, same procedure. Divide this given LCD to our second denominator. So, just cancel out this one and multiply the result to our numerator. So, the remaining value will serve as our um, quotient and multiply it to 2. So therefore, it will give us 2 times x minus 3. And that's it. So just simplify the given values. So it will give us 1 times x minus 5 plus 2 times x minus 3. And let's simplify. Okay? Therefore, it will give us um, we have this 1 times x minus 5. Obviously, the answer is as is. We have x minus 5 Next is, let's um, distribute the value of 2. So we have 2 times x, that is equals to positive 2x. We have 2 times negative 3, it will give us negative 6. And copy our denominator. So this time I will use my second LCD, or the, um, the value, or the other value of our binomial. So if you want to simplify our binomial, or the LCD, so it will give us x squared minus 8x plus 15. Right? So we have the same value. Same LCD. Right? So this time, let's combine like terms. So we have x and 2x as our like term, and we have negative 5 and negative 6. So just simplify those terms. So we have x plus 2x, it will give us 3x. And we have negative 5 minus 6, that is equals to negative 11 and copy our denominator which is x squared minus 8x plus 15 and that is our final answer right again that's the entire concept of um, addition or subtraction okay just identify our LCD and rewrite the fraction as equivalent fraction and simplify it